Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, so today we've got yet another pen that has been reserved by a viewer, subject to restoration. And for some, some of you people that watch regular, you would have seen this pen in a recent pen haul. And this is it, this is one of two of the same pen that uh, we actually found. You can see, a little bit tired, just needs... Well, yeah, it just needs a restoration. And after that, we have restored the pen. What a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. What we've got for you here is a Waterman's W5 made in England in this absolutely gorgeous sort of iridescent blue striated pattern it's absolutely gorgeous take a look at that okay lovely lovely pen the pen is obviously well not obviously but it's made in England it was one of the sort of Waterman's flagship pens of that particular period um, as I say it's the W W5 now some of you may look at it and sort of get a little bit confused because there was a similar model a little bit earlier the 515 which I believe had a single cap band very similar looking pen um, the 515 I believe was sort of you know mid late 1940s and then this one they sort of brought out a little bit later 1950s an absolutely gorgeous pen now let's show you the barrel imprint okay you can see it says Waterman made in England and then it's got the W5 to the bottom so a nice clear imprint as we can see there the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 128 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel it's around about 11.5 millimeters in diameter it comes in this well the lever is what we term as a box lever as you can see there which is sort of self-explanatory gold plated or gold filled and on this occasion you can see it has quite a large band to the center with these two bands to each side of the larger band and then we've got the very recognizable um, Waterman clip there okay a lovely clip and again it has Waterman's on the clip itself and then to the very top we've got this little sort of gold colored cap stud to the very top there as I say, all in all, a stunning pen. Um, as I said a little bit earlier, one of the sort of the flagship pens of that particular period for Waterman's. In lovely condition. It was a little bit tired when we got it. We've totally disassembled it, put a new sack in it, cleaned everything, and it's, well, as I said, it's now ready to go to its new owner. You can see the section there, quite a small section going towards the nib with a little lip there. And the nice thing about these pens here, the nib on them are actually quite a large nib. It's nib. Okay, you can see it says Waterman's 14 carat, and then to the very bottom it has W5. So we've got the correct nib for the pen a W5 nib there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath this sort of quite a recognizable Waterman feed of that period you can see it's a little bit like a sort of a ladder feed but quite quite a large feed very attractive in my opinion but you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be so a lovely pen, even with my large hands, 
nice and comfortable to hold now I'm not going to fill the pan because as I say it's off to its new owner but it'd be interesting to see how the pen actually writes so what we'll do we'll do a dip test with a pen so we'll dip it in the ink and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a Waterman's W5 made made in England it's writing very nicely indeed does it have any flex let me just give it a little bit of a dip I wouldn't consider it to be well a flexy pen but yeah, not really but just a slight bit of variation in the line as you can see there but all in all writing nicely so there's a writing sample I would say it's writing mm, on the medium side of fine little bit of variation with a little bit of pressure but all in all as I said a lovely lovely writer so let's just give it a quick wipe <coughs> excuse me we'll clean that nib before it gets shipped but there we have it a stunning example of a Waterman's W5 made in England incidentally they did come in different colours um, I've seen them in obviously a classic black colour um, I've also seen them in I've seen them in a grey in a grey striated colour whether they actually came in other colours hmm, if any of you people know then why not share your information with us but all in all a gorgeous pen so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below press that thumbs up symbol to say you've enjoyed the uh, the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget people wherever you are around this world especially our friends in the Ukraine please stay safe Slava Ukraini. But for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.